My head, man. You're awake. How about that? Where am I? Whoa, easy there. Easy. Who are you? You've been out cold a couple of days now. Huh? Why don't you just relax a second? Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I I hope I can, but... <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Uh, nope, that's... that's uh, me. Got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. It's like a bad yeah. hangover. Why don't you oh. walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. You're you're a little bit Take close. It slow now. It ain't a race. What did you do to my hair? You're looking good so far. Was that necessary? Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Just You'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculty. Oh, I'm so strong. Sorry, little lady. I fixed up your head as best I knew how. Oh. Guess I missed a spot. Guess well, you did. I know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter and the bighorn are dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Okay, let's go to your couch. You're just gonna stand there, man? You told me to go to your couch. Ah, oh, you have a favorite chair. Alright. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Word. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want yeah. you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I don't remember who I am. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I still don't know. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I don't know. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Yes. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh, Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay, I'll bite. Uh, no, no, no. Guns, sneak, and, and speech. Yeah. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Okay. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. But what if I do? What if I do? Ah, now I'm worried. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Uh, you want, you want me to leave, don't you? You f hey, Doc! Doc, you forgot, you forgot your, your doctor's bag and your glasses. You forgot all your stuff, man. Oh no, he's unprotected. Oh, you even forgot your money. What you're gonna do without your gun and your money? Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Oh, I'm not hungry. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. The suits were your she wife's? Was your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. Oh. She'll likely be at the saloon. Okay. Oh, 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 my eyes. I'm not used to light. Haven't been used to light in a little bit. Just, oh, give me a little bit of time. Oh, there's something. Hello, kind sir. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Oh, wait, thank you. Do you know who shot me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. They shot you too. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Nice, and thanks. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Happy trails! You strike me as a Pantera fan. Okay, let's go find the sunny smiles. Ooh, mail. Do I have any? No. 
Hey, doggy. Cheyenne, stay. Hey, Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Good girl. Can you help me yeah, survive? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Yeah. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? No, I was looking Take at your dog to barking to a problems. fence. Oh, you want me to shoot? I can shoot real good. Sorry, One, yeah. two. Now I'm gonna fail. And, and, see, and now boom. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. I like geckos. Maybe they'll like me too. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? No. We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like oh. Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Well, it's your plan, but... Maybe I should just... Blast away. Blast. Boom. Ow, 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 ow. Now I'm gonna have to go back to Doc Mitchell. He's gonna have to treat my... My gecko bite wound. No, wait. Oh, I think I... I was in escape. See? You're getting the hang of it. Am I? There's two more wells that still need clearing. Uh, you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. To you and to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Especially with two of us. Come with me. What are they doing? Is that Sunny? No. She's over there. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Oh, they did. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Yeah. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Fifty. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, you are rich. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Okay, Xander flower you know, and Brock root, I got I know it. I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. I hope that's hamburger, ma'am. Ah, nice hamburger right now would be pretty good. I don't want fly spits. So. Oh, nice. Now that I think about it, I don't feel hangover from bullet no more. Oh, I need a shovel. I don't have a shovel. Oh, that's home. Home. Oh, why do I have cigarettes around my home? Let's clean the yard. Oh, oh, oh. snow globe. Okay, so that's some um, brock, and we need some some root. Oh, there's a root. Nope, that's that's a grasshopper or a mantis. I mean, it's a mantis, but that one's name was grasshopper. In case you didn't know. Okay, so this is the school we're gonna learn. Three, four, five. I said, mm. five. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Is it good if I add gecko to it? Because I can. You know, I, I could. We can we can try. Maybe some bloat That's fly. not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Right. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. Town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I'll poke my head in, then. My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Oh, he's sad. I can go help. Go the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. No worries, man. I will help you. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Okay, so if if you stand there and I... No, wait, wait. Go back to where you were. Turn your back to me. 
that's not how I can help you. Ah, <sighs> there. Okay, let's go find his girl. Hey, hey, girl. That's a really small girl. That guy's a weirdo. Oh, here comes her brother. Stop it. Oh no, oh no. Oh, it's her father. Please don't. Please don't. L little bro. No. No. How many siblings? How freaking many? No. I said no. Sir, sir, listen to me. I do not want your daughter's hand. Let me tell you. And, oh, that's the lover. That's mom's lover. Uh, mm. Wow, what a, what a funny bunch. Well, I, I really need to, to improve my speech. That bullet in the head just really, mm, you know. Oh, oh, I can feel the improvement already. Now I can say words like improvement. Ah, uh, here's someone who ain't gonna see any improvement. Okay, so... Mm. Oh, ammo. Here's Johnny. Oh, a fridge. And everything in it sucks. I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Yeah, get out. I'm not going to buy anything either. Can I stay? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Hey. But I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Thank you. You too. Our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Such. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Just deal with him. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Do you even have a plan? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. So what if I help the powder Don't bros? Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Oh, I see. Who's that guy, though? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Do you know who shot me? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. How am I going to find them? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Oh. If fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. I see. Be careful out there. Okay, so eventually we'll have to do that. But let's meet up the peeps. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. Oh, but I I've did. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. What do you think about the powders? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Do you know who shot me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. Oh. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Thank Take you. Take it easy now. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Who's that powder dude? Bad trouble. Oh. Welcome. How about my shooters? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. That's close enough. 
Who are you? And what do you want with me? I'm me. I'm not your enemy, though. Be honest. What did you do? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Uh, what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. But if we team up... We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Oh, I can ask them. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay, will do. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Do you wanna help Ringo? Say no more. I'm in. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know it's tight. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. How can I convince Trudy? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. How about Chet? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Oh, I don't know anything about explosives. I'll try, but he's probably not gonna wanna. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. No, it's not. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. Take it easy now. Hi, Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. How'd you it's know? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Well, do it with me. Please. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Yay. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Double yay. Well, everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. Yep. Howdy. Howdy. Dynamite? Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. You're a mean, mean man. Yep. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Free stamp packs for future bullet holes, please. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Okay, so... Let's see if we find more people. Oh! Starcap. Oh, that's gonna be a strategy manual. We're we're gonna art of war them to death. Hmm, lovely. Um, hi, Mr. Batman. Why'd you wanna shoot him? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Okay, but um, what's happening in the rest of the place? Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. And this is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Why were you in prison? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. But I'm the main character, bro. Rob some people. Burn some things. Killed a few guys. I'm gonna take a few steps away from you. Am I seeing it right? Oh, another shiny, shiny cap. Nice. Ringo. I did a thing. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? I got us a couple beetles. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Nah, um, I'm good. All right, I'm ready. I hope. No, I hope. You Time Ringo. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. 
I think I look alive. Where's people? They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. Against how many? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Such a fine day. When we're about to shoot some people. Mommy, stand still. Oh, no need. You went a flying everywhere. Okay, that one's done. I'm seeing two. That's Joe. Oh, your hat is awful. I didn't kill you for shooting me. You just really have a, a, a really, really bad taste in hats. Okay, I don't care about the powder gang you're shunning me. Oh, Joe's dead. I owe you a huge favor for this. Yeah? Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Yeah, pay me. Pay me. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Will do. 